What's her? It's your boy, Dope Figs, a.k.a. The Fig Pen. Shout outs to all my true believers and hunters in the wild. Trying something new. Little, uh, what we say, a prototype, uh, rough draft. Uh, I'm going to start doing reviews soon and uh, with my real camera. So, you know, just trying it out real quick to see how it goes. Usually I got a few beers in me when I do these, but uh, my girlfriend has been on my ass about not drinking beer on Fridays. And uh, she's trying to control me and it's pissing me off. But, thankfully, you and I have toys to collect and burn through our pockets. I went to the comic book store today and um, I saw the sets of retro turtles that they just re-released and uh, put some money down on the villain's wave. Because it was the only villain's wave there. And they had like 14 boxes of the turtles, so... I don't know, I was watching a review today that said um, that they came out in the Comic-Con and they only released 5,000 of those, but I don't know how they had... Well, it wasn't 14 boxes, it was like 7 boxes of the Turtles, but, you know, I apologize if my hand is a little shaky. So, uh, anyway, in other toy news, I had this joint when I was young. This is Die Hard from the Young Bloods. I'm not sure if this is a Rob Liefeld figure or if this is a Jim Lee. My homeboy at work was trying to tell me that the Young Bloods was... Oh, no, he was saying the Wildcats was Jim Lee's version of the X-Men. I think Young Bloods is Rob Liefeld. Well, there you go. We got it right there. It's Rob Liefeld's. So I was close. So a lot of people hate on Rob Liefeld. They say his drawings were trash. They said uh, he liked to draw women's anatomy with big breastuses, tig old bitties, little bikinis, crazy arch backs with a nice rump on the backside, which I don't mind. I thought Rob Liefeld's drawings were cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, besides that Captain America giant chest drawing, they say he tries to, like, you know, compensate in his drawings, like hiding, like he'll hide a foot behind something or he'll do this or that, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, this is Die Hard right here, from the Young Bloods, not the Young Crips, but the Young Bloods, you feel me, uh, you know, this is from Image Comics, back in the days, um, the infamous Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, who worked on the X-Men, and Rob Liefeld, who created Deadpool and Cable, um, they were sick of Marvel's shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Marvel was selling their characters on merch like cups and shirts and toys. And they weren't getting paid for that. So they were like, yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to pay us. So behind the scenes, those three and a few other artists got together, devised a mutiny. Not a mutiny. They devised the exodus. No, I don't think it's an exodus. They said, fuck this. We out of here. Fuck your bullshit. They weren't sure how it was going to work until Jim Lee finally signed off. He wasn't really all the way with it at first. And then Jim Lee decided, you know what? You guys are right. Fuck it. Let's get out of here. Um, Not sure how successful the Young Bloods and the Wildcats were. Uh, I think Chapel was part of the Young Bloods, if I'm not mistaken. Chapel is also a Rob Liefeld creation chapel is the guy who killed spawn well killed al simmons but in the movie i always wondered why in the original spawn movie they didn't have chapel but they had emilio estevez's father as the bad guy i don't know his name and he's charlie uh who the fuck is that crazy guy from two and a half men charlie sheen that's his dad too they're brothers uh anyway yeah so my aunt made this dope ass table by the way Shout out to my aunt, Punisher. Blam, blam. I don't know what the Thor and Maestro are randomly doing here. I don't know if that's Punisher's arm or something right here. Or Ghost Rider's arm grabbing the Maestro. If it is, it's definitely not going to have any effect. I don't see the Punisher. Well, maybe the Punisher could beat the Maestro because, you know... Guns. You know what I'm saying? 
Young Blood was an he he his character is from the 1940s. He was the first uh, super soldier for America. Fuck yeah. Um, I'm guessing it was America. On the back, because I don't know shit about this guy. I just thought he was fucking dope looking. You know what I'm saying? When I was young. And uh, I like all the battle damage right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old school guy. You know, I like the old school figures. I collect some, I, I collect a lot of the new shit. I know everybody loves Marvel Legends. You know what I'm saying? But um, Hasbro, uh, when you guys do a good job, you guys do a great job. But all the repaints and reuses is a bunch of fucking bullshit. And you people need to get more creative. Um, I, I love the toy biz. Old school toy biz. 90s, early 2000s. I love the Toy Biz Marvel Legends, even though they weren't very proportioned. You know what I'm saying? They they had individuality. You guys have heard me go on hour-long rants before this. Or maybe you haven't because nobody's watched my fucking videos yet. But all that's about to fucking change. Because I got this dope-ass table. And this cardboard. And this cardboard background. So we're off to a, a healthy start here. But yeah, I'm an old school head. So this guy is more cyborg than man. I just read this off the back of the card. I don't know shit about this guy. Uh, he had a lot of cybernetic enhancements. He's basically a knockoff of Captain America. That's what Rob Liefeld does. You know what I'm saying? He he uh, takes certain characters sometimes. and Like Deadpool is supposed to be Slade. That's why they call him Wade. Crip. Oh, see? Oh, Young Crip in the building. Fuck the Young Bloods. Young Crips in the building. Sentinel. Where have I heard that name before? Die Hard. Looking, looking beastie. Dutch. Looking like a beefed up Batman. Kind of, kind of looking like Cyber a little bit. Troll, a.k.a. Puck. I don't know what the fuck these are. These are all from Todd McFarlane. I mean, you know, I know what the spawn joints are. I had I had uh I had that ninja spawn. I had the violator. Um never had Redeemer, always wanted Redeemer. Um I have holy shit, I have every single one of these. Except for the except for these guys. I have this one. Chapel. That's the guy that killed Al Simmons. He's got a dope backstory. That's a dope fig. Um, yes, I have Malboja, but I have the movie version. 20 bucks. This is kind of a dope fig right here. But I have all, I have this whole wave right here. And I have the alternative meathead joint. And then uh, I also saw the alternative shoelace head for Spawn and had no idea it was from Frank Miller's Batman vs. Spawn and I guess Frank Miller's Batman is kind of like an old grumpy dude and uh, him and Spawn teamed up but they were kind of like you know beefing but Spawn was trying to be cool with Batman but Batman is kind of like a dick and uh, at the end of the comic book Spawn was like yo maybe we could work together again one time and maybe you know come to an understanding and Batman turned around and was like fuck you and threw a batarang at his face. Boom! Hit him in his fucking face. And then that's how he got the shoelace. If I knew that, I'd have bought that shit. I looked at it like, I don't like this head scope. And I already got the meat head. Dumb move. But I'm sure all the collectors out there know those, uh, those stupid ass collecting moves that we make sometimes. Sometimes you're not feeling a figure. And you'll be like, what is this? And then a year later, you'll be like, fuck, I should have bought that figure. That shit was fucking dope. Uh, I guess he's got an attack shield with an arm launcher. This must be the attack shield, and I'm guessing that's the arm launcher. Got some nice shanks right here and a nice sword to chop you up with, stab you, and slice your arteries. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm not taking them out the blister pack. Sorry, dudes and dudettes. I'm not with all that, you feel me? I keep my joints on card. So, yo, everybody out there, have a blessed day. You know what I'm saying? God bless you. I hope everything's going good. Keep your head up. 
And uh, it's perfectly normal for a grown man to collect toys. If anybody tells you otherwise, they're fucking hating. You heard? Peace.